Sherman marched from Atlanta to Savannah, Georgia, burning and destroying military objectives, infrastructure, and civilian property along the way. The goal was to demonstrate to the Confederacy that defeat was inevitable, and further resistance would only cause more suffering. A secondary campaign objective was to further pressure Lee's besieged army in Virginia, and prevent reinforcements from reaching them. Under Sherman's orders, his armies foraged liberally without supply lines, and destruction of certain private property was only authorized in areas where they faced local resistance. Sherman estimated that, in the end, his armies had caused around $100 million in damages, approximately $1.9 billion when adjusted for inflation. 